Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hannah, and today's video is going to be a pregnancy update for week 28. So this week is the very beginning of the third trimester, and last week I mentioned how I could kind of feel the third trimester happening, and yes, yes. One, I'm out of breath if you couldn't tell. Two, I have to, this is a new, a new thing that has happened literally just this week. I have to pee in the middle of the night and I can't ignore it more than one time. So I go to bed or I like go to sleep around midnight. So I go to the bathroom at midnight. Then I'll wake up around three or four and I have to pee. And I can ignore it then because it's not so bad. I usually just like flip to my left side and it takes the pressure off of my bladder. And then I wake up around five, six, seven, and I have to pee. Like I have to get out of bed and go to the bathroom. And so that's kind of like, ah, preparing me for when the baby gets here and I can't sleep all the way through the night anymore. So it's fine, but yeah, I no longer can sleep all the way through the night. So last week, I kind of went on this whole like woe was me rant about how I don't feel like I look pregnant and or like you know the perfect pregnancy bump and it's fine I'm like I still don't think I have the perfect preg pregnancy bump and I probably won't and that's totally okay I have my pregnancy bump um, but people have noticed that a bump is starting to form so um, my mom worked at Dillard's for a while and I would go and visit her like on her lunch and stuff. I met some of her coworkers during the first trimester and then she ended up quitting during my second trimester. So they hadn't seen me since the first trimester. And then the other day we went shopping and they saw me again and they were like, oh, you have a pregnancy bump coming on. And then there was a lady who wanted to ask me if I was pregnant, but she didn't want to like cause a scene if I wasn't so but I ended I was telling her that I was pregnant that I was the she asked if I was the baby of the family and I was like yeah and I'm carrying a baby and anyway she was just like oh I wanted to ask but I didn't want to like you know so earlier this week we had our first two-week interval um, doctor's visit so you know the very beginning of the of the third trimester week 28 I have some information to tell you from the doctor's appointment and I have the baby's heartbeat was 138 to 140 when she did the little Doppler. So I guess technically with the wives tales of like fast heartbeat, slow heartbeat, um, right now we have a boy <laughs> um, or could be a boy um, because the heart rate has significantly dropped. It was in the 160s I think for quite some time, 160s and 150s. And so that would be like more of a girl but below 140 would mean more like a boy. So I don't know, it could just have been because the baby was resting, like it really wasn't that active. So its heartbeat of course wouldn't be like pumping. Anyway, we still don't know what, we, what we're having, but um, if you wanna be silly and go off the wives, old wives tales, then I guess we have a boy. I have gained 13 pounds, which my doctor says is really good and that I'm on track. And then two weeks ago, I did the glucose test and a con complete blood count test. And the glucose test came back normal. I don't have gestational diabetes, which is good, but it came back, but the CBC, the complete blood count test came back as me being anemic. And so um, they ended up calling me and were like, oh, hey, take iron two times a day, um, this milligram. And whatever and so I was like oh okay but I am so forgetful okay I like oh, it has taken me a very long time to get every single day like it took me the whole thir first trimester to get going every single day with um, taking like the little gummy vitamins prenatal vitamins so I hadn't been very consistent with taking the iron and so my doctor was like you need to of course she got on to me which is fine and I totally understand um, but she said that my hemoglobins were at 8.4 and they should be at a 10 so um, at 32 weeks so in four weeks 
we're going to be taking another CBC test after I've been taking the iron twice daily and so far this whole entire week it is now Friday <laughs> I have done it I have taken it twice a day and so we're hoping that my hemoglobins go back up to where they should be and um, because if not my doctor said that if they don't raise then she's going to have to do like an IV bag with iron in it for me and I don't want that <laughs> we don't want that happening so let's hope that the iron pills are working and the last thing that she um, kind of talked about during the visit was to start doing the kick counting or the counting kicks and she said to have at least 10 kicks or 10 movements in two hours and the whole time I was looking at her like um, try like 30 to 40 kicks every one hour that's how much this baby moves our baseline is pretty much 20 to all could be 40 movements every hour um, and then like around four five and six the baby kind of calms down and doesn't really move too much um, so that's what I've noticed counting the kicks is so odd to me because like sometimes the baby is moving so much that I can't count the individual kicks so I have to count like a group of movements all together as one because I can't count how many so I'm kind of confused as to how that actually works like do you count the groups of movements or do you count the individual kicks because if you count the individual individual kicks I'm doomed <laughs> I'm doomed and it's going to be way too many kicks and like I think she might think I'm crazy or something well if you have any advice of how I should actually be counting my counting the kicks please let me know in the comments because I'm just kind of like I don't know what I'm doing and so yeah but I am trying my hardest to count them correctly and to count them because um, sometimes it's really hard to be like wait what number am I on when I'm in like hour two yeah that has uh, that has officially started so back on to new symptoms or things that I've noticed throughout this pregnancy um, is the whole getting up in the middle of the night to pee now and I am running out of breath so, so, so fast. So we've been going on walks because I've been feeling like I really need to, but we go late at night and we walk fairly slow because at this point my stomach muscles hurt pretty bad. Um, if I walk too fast, we're at like pre-pregnancy normal rate. If we just deviate from the slowness that we, that we go, that we start off with, I'm like, <sighs> and like the tiniest hill just knocks me out of breath and also sometimes I can just be like laying down and I don't feel like I can catch like can get a full breath and so I'm like <sighs> and then like short little breath and I'm like trying to get a bit another bigger breath and it's just like it's crazy how like how fast my breath goes away oh and while I'm eating I can lose my breath pretty fast which is weird that's just a very weird one and I don't know if that's normal it probably is but it, that's just odd <laughs> to me these next two things are kind of at night so in the middle of this week probably on Wednesday I think I had another terrifying dream and I think I said this in somewhere in my second trimester one of those updates um, I had a couple of terrifying dreams where like I'm waking up to myself like screaming with my mouth closed and that's exactly what happened the other day I woke up and like I, in my dream I was screaming at my husband because scary things were happening and I woke up and like my throat was making noises but my mouth was completely closed and then I was terrified and so like I rolled over and leaned like laid on top of him because I was so scared I really hope those don't happen more often now because it's hard to get through the night when that happens and then the last and then the last thing that I have um, pertaining to sleep is I bought a pillow to use as a pregnancy pillow um, I didn't want to buy the big big you know bed ones um, I just figured that this would work to put at the very bottom of my stomach and then hike my knee up on um, 
when I lay on my side and it has helped. I've been able to like sleep like on one side for a lot longer and my stomach doesn't hurt as bad. Um, the only annoying thing with like getting a pillow like this is that when I flip sides I have to bring it over with me. It's not like the pregnancy pillow where it goes all the way around. And it's totally fine. We can't I can't afford a pregnancy pillow and I can't justify it to myself. So we literally got this one for like five, six dollars and it works very well. So um it works a lot nicer than like a stuffed animal. Like this stuffed animal, it works so much better than using that. And I use the stuffed animal to like lean on so I don't end up like flipping all the way and then my body's all twisted and anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to insert some movements of the baby. If I can find the clips, I will insert them actually. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and go on to the Pregnancy Plus app. Today I am on day 201, so that's the third trimester, and I am 28 weeks and 5 days pregnant. Okay, so here's a little baby. So cute. Just sleeping away, of course. It says that it is 15.2 inches and 2 and a half pounds. It has information on the eye development. Your baby's irises can now respond to light by dilating and contracting. Organ development. All of the internal organs are maturing and preparing to function on their own at birth. Your baby's skin is beginning to look less wrinkly and more like it will look at birth. Which is good! So I just scrolled down a little bit and it says my due date is December 15th, which is true. And so it had, I have 11 weeks and 2 days left. That, that puts a lot of things into perspective. The size of the baby by Sweets is a chocolate box, which, um, okay, because there's a whole bunch of different sizes of chocolate boxes. By Animal, it's the size of a little puppy. <laughs> and then by Fruit, which is the most reliable, the more reliable one that I can see is a winter squash, which is kind of like fitting because, you know, pumpkins and squash are all the rage right now because it's fall. Well, that is all that I have for you guys for week 28, the beginning of the third trimester. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. And I will see you next week. Bye! Hold my hand in a Tell you how I feel